Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this fourth Sunday of Lent, year B, 2024, we are called to reflect on the theme of God's judgment and His gratuitous gift of salvation. And we are as well invited to delve deeper into the transformative power of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. In this sacrament, we encounter the loving mercy of God and are offered opportunity to reconcile with Him and with one another. In our second reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 4 to 10, we are reminded that our salvation is not something we can earn or merit through our own actions. It is therefore a gift freely given by God out of His boundless love and mercy. Our own evil actions only bring about condemnation, but through Christ we are offered redemption and forgiveness. In our first reading from 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 14 to 16 and 19 to 23, this reinforces the reality that when we turn away from God and refuse to follow His ways, we bring unhappiness upon ourselves. Our sins create a barrier between us and God, thereby preventing us from experiencing the fullness of His love and joy. However, the Gospel of St. John chapter 3, verse 14 to 21, proclaims the incredible love of God who sent His only Son into the world to save us from our sins. God's love is so great that He offers us the gift of salvation. But it is our responsibility to choose how we respond to His salvation. One powerful way of responding to God's invitation to salvation is true the sacrament of reconciliation. In this sacrament, we empty our hearts to God, confessing our sins with contrition and humility. The priest, acting as a mediator between us and God, grants us absolution, and through it our sins are forgiven, assuring us of the reconciliation to God Almighty. Brothers and sisters, without the sacrament of reconciliation, our sins remain unforgiven, and we continue to carry the burden of guilt and separation from God. But through the sacrament of reconciliation, we are cleansed of our sins and are restored to a state of grace. We are given the opportunity to begin anew, to reconcile with God and with one another, and to experience the peace and joy that come from being in right relationship with Him. In our various parishes, the Church in her wisdom provides this opportunity for us. As we draw closer, to Easter celebration. Please, my brothers and sisters, endeavor to make use of the sacrament of reconciliation this time around, especially if we have not done so for so many years. As we continue our Lenten journey, let us embrace the sacrament of reconciliation with open heart, knowing that through it, we encounter the loving mercy of God 
and receive the grace to live more fully as his beloved sons and daughters. May we humbly acknowledge our need for God's forgiveness and mercy. And may we strive to live lives of repentance and reconciliation, bearing witness to the transformative power of God's love in our lives. Amen.